Well, Crossroads Farm, it is uh, not 10 my time, but it's 10 your time. And so uh, it is time for nighttime prayers. I was uh, getting ready for today, like always, uh, just uh, sort of processing. Lord, what do you want me to talk about tonight? How can I encourage people? Uh, that came on the, uh, the heels of the governor uh, prolonging our stay-at-home orders. And it's a little difficult to talk about that because it feels like it's gone on for so long. Um, I can hear people saying, I just want to get out. I just want to resume normal life. I, I just want uh, for it to be okay again. I, I want to be able to hug somebody. I want to be able to go to Walmart and not wear a mask. I want so many things. I want to have people over for dinner. Uh, I want to not worry about this virus anymore. And it seems like so many of us have the same heartbeat. I definitely have that that same heartbeat where I'm just asking God, how long? How long, oh Lord? One of my favorite bands uh, in the 80s and then into the 90s was a band called U2. And uh, in a really horrible, uh, you know, Bono impersonation, I remember the beginning of one particular song where he just announces, this is 40. This is 40. And then U2 does a rendition of the 40th song. Let me read that to you. It goes like this. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and he heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. In the uh, hymn, because I do think it's a hymn uh, by you 2 in the hymn 40, Bono just echoes the question, how long? How long? Well, we don't know, I guess. We, we don't know how long, and we don't know necessarily the outcomes, but what we do know is that as we wait patiently for the Lord, he inclines and he hears our cries. He, he lifts us out of the, the mud, the mire, the, the depression, the loneliness, the, uh, the boredom. And he sets our feet on a solid rock, and that rock is our faith in him. I, I, uh, I want to just speak into that tonight. That as we pray, uh, we're going to say, Lord, this seems like it's going on for so long. How long, oh Lord? Sometimes my greatest prayers come from a place of absolute questioning. That's because I had a pretty good teacher. His name was David. And David writes over and over again in the Psalms, Oh Lord, my heart's broken. Father, I'm worried. My, my, my life seems to be pressed in from all sides. And so, this is 40. How long, oh Lord? Tonight, we're going to ask that question of God. We're going to pray into that. We're going to ask for patience to endure, to rest on the rock that's Christ. And tonight, I've asked Caleb, one of our seniors from Hillsdale High School, if he'll go ahead and speak into that and pray for us tonight. Let's join Caleb. Uh, hi, um, my name is Caleb Lanius, and um, I'm a high school senior. Uh, I go to Hillsdale High School. Uh, I've been asked to pray for Doug in the prayer group tonight at 10. Um, just just want to pray that it all goes good and to uh, let God speak through Doug's words tonight. Uh, here we go. Um, dear Heavenly Father, uh, I just want to pray that Doug does really well in his prayer tonight. Um, that you help him with what he needs to be spoken through. Uh, just help help with Doug and all the prayer requests that happen. Um, just give him give him the encouragement he needs because of his disease that's going through. Um, just give him the best you can and bless us all, Father. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. 